A push to raise the criminal age of responsibility is gaining traction with a letter signed by 50 prominent Tasmanians to be presented in Parliament. And it's a diverse range of people calling for change, from Australian of the Year Grace Tame to leading economist Sol Eslake. Prominent Tasmanians calling for the state to follow the ACT and raise the criminal age of responsibility from 10 to 14, signing a letter of support to be handed to government. I go to those places and see little kids in there and it, it's heartbreaking to see. It is a form of child abuse. Make no, let's make no secret about it. Children belong in playgrounds, not prisons. Independent Meg Webb set to put forward a motion on the issue when Parliament returns tomorrow. The government have announced they're closing Ashley Youth Detention Centre. They're reviewing our youth justice system. This fits in beautifully. But the state government backs a national approach. For the Attorney Generals are meeting and have discussed this issue and they will continue to meet and discuss this issue again. We will consider the report that we get from the from the Attorney General after uh, they've had their national meeting. I would encourage um, the government to look seriously at leading the pack, at going, uh, going out ahead of the other states and territories in the absence of a national decision. The government's approach to electoral laws is also facing scrutiny with an Integrity Commission paper highlighting issues around transparency and donations. This paper raises many of the issues that really, I think, feed into people's cynicism about politics, myself included. The government will consider that report, but we're already taking action on that report. We have two bills in place in the lower house at the moment, so we're already taking action. Meanwhile, the Greens have their sights set on cutting out minimum saw log quotas. They have to cut those coops harder and harder. That's leading to massive carbon loss, massive biodiversity loss and all of it uh, publicly subsidised. Some familiar political fodder for Parliament's return. Imogen Elliott, Win News.